So you might be thinking, okay, so where do I actually go and modify things? Well, if you come to the homepage and you click on edit, you will be taken to a new UI. Now, one thing to be aware of is that if we go back and we go to content, you will see these new pages. Now, any page, okay, air quotes, any page now that's controlled by Canvas is its own entity. You won't see it, well, you won't see it on this content page. And if you come to content types and you see this basic page, that is not it. Okay, that's one thing to be aware of. So this is a bit of, this is a change to what we are normally used to in Drupal. If you really want to get into it, take a look at the code. There is a, I think a canvas underscore page entity, and it's not a, there's no bundles. So you can't create your own in like your own canvas. It's, as far as I'm aware, you can't create your own canvas page type and you can't chuck on extra fields. Um, I think it's probably got its hard coded fields where it stores everything. So things are a little different, okay? And of course, if you want to access the Canvas page directly, just type in slash Canvas and you go in there and you can go and jump around and do whatever you want. First things first, if you want to see all the pages that are controlled by Drupal Canvas, come to content and then pages and take a look here. And then you can click on edit and it will take you to the actual page. Now let's go to the homepage, uh, that's the main one. So here we have the homepage, this is the UI. Now the UI, if you have used other page builders in the past, then this should look pretty similar. And when I say page builders, I mean the modern-ish type of page builders, kind of like the block page builders, like the Gutenberg, the Elementor, the, I don't know, whichever ones they are. They all kind of have the same style where you control the block from the right-hand side and then from the left-hand side, you have your components and then you can have your component, where is it here? You have your layers or your or your tree structure and then you have a few more options as well. And the, the look and feel is very similar. It's just click and drag and chuck it in. So from here, you can display it in different sizes. We have mobile, tablet, we can zoom in if we want, or we can zoom out, where did that go? Oh, there you go, went down there, let's make it 100. I think if you click on that, it kind of zooms in. If you press uh, command or control um, and zoom, what is it, oh, there you go, and scroll and use the scroll wheel, it zooms out. If you don't, it just zooms, um, sorry, scrolls up and down. Let's pop that back in. At the top here, you can jump between pages, and then from the right-hand side, you can change, uh, the page data, but then if you click on one of the blocks or the components, what are these technically called? Are they called, called components? Is that what we're calling them? Library, yeah, okay. let's call it components, okay. Components. Um, if you click on the components, well, the thing is though, Gutenberg calls them blocks. I think Elementor calls them widgets or something. Yeah, everyone seems to call it something different. So we're gonna call it components. And then you can modify specific components and then you can view the preview, which is actually pretty cool. Now, finally, you know, Drupal's gonna have a proper preview because I can't be the only one that, that literally starts a Drupal, Drupal project and turns off preview because I know that it's never going to work and there's always gonna be bugs coming in when an editor uses a preview feature and then complains about it. So I'll, I always turn it off, but this is actually pretty, pretty cool. All right. Then on the left-hand side, as I mentioned, we have the library. We can see all of the available components. Now, these components uh, can be views, they can be blocks as well, and they can also be components that are supplied by the theme. Then we have the layers or the tree structure. Oh, I don't know what you'll call it. Yeah, the layers, all of the components that are on this page. So you can kind of zoom down and click on it. Does it take you down there? No, it doesn't. But that will kind of highlight, what does it highlight? There you go. That highlights that. And then if we click on, what's this, manage library, we have all of the, all of the components that we can manage. I think you can still click and drag, yeah, you can. Well, maybe not. Where is that? Then you have your patterns. And then you can create your own custom components. That's gonna be pretty good. 
Then you've got your pages. And these are your individual pages. So these pages should match the pages up the top here, right here. And then finally, you have your templates. And now this is pretty cool. This is going to change, especially for me as a site builder or developer. This essentially replaces the manage display page. So what is it? So whichever way you design your Drupal content, it's going to change yet again. So I've gone from, what is it? PHP templates to Twig to display suite. Yeah, display suite to using like fences module, was it? Or that kind of cleans up your fields to using paragraphs, to using layout builder. And now there's going to be another way that we're going to be building out our Drupal sites using pretty much this type of layout. So yeah, it's going to be interesting in the future, the way we build Drupal sites and the way we manage content is going to change a lot.